What's going on guys? This is Evan the Dota 2 Enthusiast here, bringing my second Dota 2 gameplay commentary of the day. My first gameplay commentary was of course a Tide Hunter game that was cut a little short. Uh, we were playing well, but our opponents decided we were playing a little too well, so they quit. I am playing with a five-man stack this game, um, but to be fair, it's not that our opponents are... Or it's not that my team is necessarily that good. It's a stack, but it's not like an all-pro stack. I'll go ahead and play Vino, sure. I am not a pro Vino. I, re I, I really don't like this hero, but I'm trying to play heroes I'm less comfortable with, so we'll see what happens. Early game, I'm going to try to lane with Jug and get, like, Imba. Imba early game, like denies and stuff like that. I'm going to play a true support Vino. I know my last upload, uh, well not necessarily my last upload, but I did upload that Battle of Mini Night gameplay, which I got a lot of private messages on. For the record, guys, I know that's not the ideal way to play Venomancer. I just don't care. Um, <laughs> I really don't. It's kind of a whatever moment. Oh, Knives Rams, Drow Ranger. We actually needed a carry, so that works out really well. Uh, I played that a Mini Night as a Request from a fan. All right, so I'm gonna get level one Gale. Uh, I can get the animal courier. I'm a bro like that. So animal courier. Let's get two tangos. Flask. Uh, Ironwoods. Same build as last game. Okay. Sometimes if you can land a level 1 Gale, and then get a Jug out of the woods, you can get, like, easy first bloods, because Gale is such an outrageously strong first skill, as is, um... No, you guys get the idea. So I might actually run up here and stand in this spawn, so that... I don't need him up here, he can block if he wants. So I'm gonna go stand here, because I think I can treat you out of here if I get ganked early game. Alright, so I got some free battle points there. Um, so if I miss my Gale, I'm going to be really embarrassed. And I've been known to miss Gales because I'm a bad Vino. So hopefully I will not do that. I'm also going to try to block this spawn so that they can't get an early pull. Okay, so you want Tide? So hopefully I can stand out of vision here. I think I just showed actually. This might be warded, I'm not actually sure. But I don't mind if he gets some early levels on me. That's totally fine. Not sure if they saw me, I might have showed, who knows. Tide is trying to pull, but I think I blocked the creep spawn. I don't think he can necessarily see me. All right. Yeah, tight saw me. So I'm gonna start denying and last hitting and 
giving Jugger that early experience is okay. I don't necessarily need it. I mean, you know, experience is good on this hero, of course, as it's good on any caster, but... For whatever reason, the lane got pushed really far, so it kind of sucks. So I'm just going to go stand in the lane here, or stand in the woods here. But I would really benefit from... Ooh crap, I almost stacked that because I'm bad. Ah! Bad play, bad play. Bad play, bad play, bad play, bad play, bad play, bad play. Uh, I messed up some of Jug's last hits. That's pretty bad. Okay, so he power shots, which is good, because I actually want this lane pushed a little bit. Oh no, I'm going to take creep hits. Uh. Okay, so we got first blood, which is good. We should be able to make a little more happen with this lane, but my opponents are playing really cautiously because they know how strong. Uh... So now I need to get some Plague Wards here. See, she's scared. I think this is a pull. They probably pulled. This lane is screwed up. Like, we just can't get... There we go. Jug's free farming though, so that's probably enough to make it an okay lane. Like, as long as Jug is farming, I don't care if we don't get kills. I mean, I want kills, especially playing a Vino. Can't really get those early game last hits, but... As long as Jug is farming fine, I think he can carry us to victory, and... My time will come. This here is level 6 ult is always useful. Early game ganks or not. Oh, this catapult's really hard to hit. So, yeah. Oh! Damn. Eat the tree. Ha <laughs> ha! Eat the tree! <laughs> oh man, that was so bad. Yeah, I actually screwed that up pretty bad, but whatever. I'm actually pretty... Like, it worked out, but I wasted a lot of regen and... Just could have overall gone better. I just kind of played bad there. And that was also a bad serpent ward. Tide is missing. So, Queen of Pain has an Invis, I guess. Alright, so they're both back. Tidehunter is back top. Put that down there, because we need, I need the vision to spot.
top is missing. Ow, never mind. Okay, so at six, I'll probably leave this lane and go try to gank some other lanes. I don't know if that hit me. I don't think so. Do you want to hit their jungle maybe? Windrunner tied missing. Top. Nah, leave it. It's fine. Their lane shut down pretty hard and you're getting farmed, so it's okay. We don't have to push it. God, I'm dead. Ah! Yeah, that was kind of bad for both of us. <laughs> Alrighty, let's buy that, let's buy that, and let's look for ganking opportunities. Here's a ganking opportunity. Can I do this? Yep, got six. That's kind of what I was hoping for, actually. Come on, where are they? G Why is it this team always backs whenever I try to do anything? Like, it's like they know. I mean, it's completely possible that they have wards. I doubt it, though. I think it's just one of those kind of lucky moments. I have been not able to get any ganks going here. Okay, I kind of think by the... Ah! He backs and then they show up. Like, in that secession, literally. Okay, they're not denying, so I can probably still get experience here. Why are we all top? Like, we had a way overly aggressive response. Like, the entire team tp top. And he somehow lost all his life, probably got hit with a heal. This whole match is kind of crap. I haven't been able to get... <sighs> lag. Lag! More lag. Someone on campus is probably trying to connect their seven tablets. That Queen of Pain gank was a big problem for us. Like, it really put us behind. This hero needs to go around and gank, but... They all have so much mobility. Like, they're, they're all always there. It's frustrating. Can I go here? Well, TP for nothing. That's pretty normal. Oh, wait a minute. Got him. Come on, boys. Get him. Uh, 
So, yeah, pretty bad game. Ogre Magi continues to farm bottom for no reason. Guess he's Ogre Magi carry. My ult was crap. But it's, this is hard. Like, I mean, not that this hero is hard. It's just we can't get anything set up. Like, I've spent the whole game trying to get ganks, and this whole enemy team is just standing safely. And they're playing defensively, which you should. It's just... It's frustrating because, you know, I want to contribute and do things and just in general have a good game. And when they just hold back like that, like, <sighs> it's frustrating. I mean, I think we're definitely winning. I think the state of the game favors us. But it's frustrating playing support when I don't get any farm whatsoever. Like, I don't know. You guys get what's going on. It's just one of those kind of a letdown moments where you come into these games thinking you can get stuff done and it's like oh I can't just getting destroyed I mean he gets all the farm which is as he should I mean his hero definitely benefits from it but just kinda so lots of missing Every time we do this mass TP thing, it doesn't work out because... Well, okay, maybe this time it will. Oh, longest TP ever! She's... stunned. Ugh. Got that assist on her. That assist money. Alright, so now I can start getting poison sting. I'm actually not even sure if I'm supposed to get a higher level of Gale or not. I thought it was mostly just for the slow, honestly. Alright, so... So now I'm gonna spam wards like it's my job. Haha! -ha! Ring of Aquila. Alrighty. Need a mana boot so I can spam more arcane ward. Whoa. Never mind. They're all there. So I need to get over here and start spamming wards in front of this tower, like ASAP. Which I can and will do. Oh, nice silence. Yeah, got the crap focused out of me. Couldn't do anything about it. Try I was sitting there mashing the old button, but just couldn't get it to proc. They have a lot better team fight than us between Tidal, a mini night heal, Zeus is outrageously damaging nukes. I'll be up in 10 for a TP. I really think we can defend this, I really do. TP faster! <laughs> well, he's poisoned. Got that repel. Good job. Oh, let's 
turn this on. We're basically pushing at this point. So I've used a lot of TP scrolls, and I think I have like no kills. I have 8 assists though. 0, 3, and 8. I mean, I like to get a kill sometime just to prove that I can, but you know, not gonna rage. Yes! A little bit of gold! I feel like the Aquila was probably worth it. <laughs> ah! Still on accident because my auto attack is on. Do we have a carry? Oh, yeah, we have Dro. Oh, he has Battle Fury already. Eight, well, it's an 18 minute Battle Fury. Ha! <laughs> JK! Uh oh. Uh. All sorts of bad stuff right there. They're probably going to come for this tower again because they want it really bad. Which is fine, I mean, why would you not want to take towers? But I'm just going to spam the crap out of... Yeah, I can't defend this. Come on, lag. <laughs> okay, guess we'll just get all our kills that way. <laughs> oh, well. Guys, that was lame. Sorry, Rico, Rico hit wrong hotkey. Uh, Gale was on cooldown for a while there. That's a long cooldown. So I need to make an Agadims and a Arcane Boots, essentially. Actually, that... Hotkeys are all screwed up. So this works out rather well, because I can get an Arcane Boots. Then I can get my Point Booster. See there, now I got life and mana and all the things that Venomancer wants and needs. Got that Arcane, so... Gonna, gonna get a good Plague Ward defense going on here. Now that I got that random mass multi-kill thing. This build actually lacks pretty hard in regen, which is unfortunate, but whatever. We'll be okay. Look at all these wards! Look at the ward damage! Ward spamming's so fun. Like, I actually have enough mana to make it work, too. Uh, sure, I'll TP up here. Kinda need more mana regen to spam this as efficiently as I want to, but... Ow. Bitch. Get out of here. Ah, the tower is unpushable because of my ward defenses. 
Get out of here. Get out of my lane, whore. There's so many like MIA though, I really can't push up there and actually fight. I just have to kind of stay back here and defend. This is a really fun hero to play. I mean, I, I suck with Vino, but he's really, really fun to play. Although, I need to be careful I don't, like, feed these guys war kills here. Leave my plague wards alone! So we'll just... How? Oh, that was bad. Fighting without me. I could actually contribute a lot in this fight. Truly. If he lands a stun, I can probably kill her. Yeah, that was not good on my part, but not necessarily my fault either. So yeah, I need, actually need two TP scrolls. Oh, yeah, I've got inventory space. That's important. This build has very little region at 2 HP a second. Uh, ulting the Windrunner was probably stupid. I thought I could maybe get the kill before he killed my dude, but I didn't. Oh, they already did that. Yeah, I should have been buying wards too. The minute I saw that ward message pop up, I was like, ah, fuck. Ah! Watch me farm their woods! Kind of put a war trap here in the woods. All right, so they might try to come up on us. So I'm gonna put. There, spot the high ground. Alright, so we're gonna Roche, which I think is an excellent idea. Ooh, are we gonna try to fight here? Okay, they're all there. I don't know if we can do this. Okay, Luna will take it. That's perfect. Okay, let's do this. Go in! Pop, uh, pop, pop, pop! Got my own off! Ah! Well, I died, which was obvious, but I've got poison on these guys, so I think that I might get a poison kill. I will not get a poison kill. Queen of Pain lives at 34 health. That sucked.
Yeah, true. Yeah, and I got caught in Ravage because I'm bad. He. <laughs> Yeah, that was unfortunate. I really wanted us to win that little fight there. A little skirmish. I'm 800 from Scepter. On the 16, too. That actually is relevant, because I will do a lot of damage to them once I get everything I need. Scepter's so good on Vina, though. Ah! Uh. Ah, huh, God! That's right. Come for me, fools! Haha! <laughs> Ow! Jug. Going after Roche, man. No need. Alright, so now I've got Scepter. My core is complete. Grab all. Okay, so. That should counter push soon. I mean, have you kind of wasted a lot of TPs this game? Let's turn this on. I've got an Agadim Scepter coming. Oh my god, so aggressive. Uh So I've got Scepter now, so ult is almost spammable. Get the DPS on the tower! Uh. Oh, nice. Man, really, Windrunner can do that to me as much as she wants. I really don't care. Okay, let's go ahead and give Drew the mana she wants. All right, now we TP home, got a thousand bucks. That will farm me a little bit of gold. She gets a tower. Now we probably will make Shadow Blade because it's cheaper than Blink Dagger. Get a Shadow Amulet. They've got towers down, so this is even more relevant, although essentially the game's over. We've got two Raxes. We've got mass farm on our heroes. I'm 5'4", 19. Draw Ranger is essentially unstoppable. <laughs> All 
Urgh. No! No! Let me get in here and all. Ah! Oh! Well, that was pretty painless. Yes! The pirate! 